Player of the Week is presented by Chevrolet. With Zach, it's something different every start. Well, he was perfect. When your team has a bump in the road, you want to send your ace out. Locked in, seven scoreless innings, 11 strikeouts. That curveball was dancing. And that was his bread and butter pitch. But he has something with him. I don't know if he hides the ball from these hitters or something, because they were locked up on some good pitches there. Zach Gallen was right into that Cy Young form, and he was outstanding in this game. Well, Zach Gallen is your National League Player of the Week. It's presented by Chevrolet. And look at what he did last week. Wow. 13 and two thirds, no earned runs, 18 to one strikeout to walk ratio. That seems good. You know? Yeah, I would argue that's good. Uh, and, and the opponent batting average, a minuscule 114. And before the Arizona Cardinals take on the St. Louis Arizona Cardinals, this at uh, Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Okay. Arizona Diamondbacks <laughs> taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Zach, you don't play for the Arizona Cardinals, right? <laughs> you should. Probably. <laughs> hey, with that arm, no. I mean, maybe. I mean, Kyler Murray, you never know. You making things happen. 10% agent, agent. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Zach, your team looks like, uh, I mean, you guys look like such a fun bunch. You're playing tremendous baseball. You guys are winning, and you're obviously pitching well. What's it like uh, being around in that clubhouse right now? Yeah, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's I've I've kind of echoed the sentiment. This is probably the the closest team that I've played on um, in professional baseball, at least that I can remember. Um, the guys just like hanging out with each other. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's good vibes in the clubhouse uh, every day. So yeah, it's uh, the the guys are the guys are playing well. Um, it's a fun bunch to be around for real. Zach, what was the reaction to that Nick Ahmed bouncing double? I, yeah. I, what is, what is that called? I'm not sure. We were all kind of <laughs> laughing. We saw the camera pan over the dugout, and you guys were laughing about it. Well, yeah, I, I didn't know it hit the ground. I just thought, <laughs> you know, Montgomery made a good pitch, and then after we were talking about it, and I was like, we, yeah, we were clowning about it in the dugout. Um, you know, cricket, you know, cricket pitch or whatever. Like, yeah, so we we were having a good time. But yeah, at first I didn't know it hit the ground. I just thought he, you know, put a good, you know, decent swing on a on a good pitch. Hey Zach, you've gotten off to an awesome start. Obviously, little two parter. One, you doing anything different? And two. Were there any vibes either way going back into Marlins Park, traded for Jazz Chisholm, pitching against Sandy Alcantara? Was there anything there or uh, no? Uh, first part, um, nothing really like crazy different. Um, you know, just still trying to knock the rust off, really. Um, hmm. I felt like I was close in spring training. Even those first couple starts, I felt like I was close. Um, we're just kind of looking at some data, looking at some video, uh, just really trying to hammer things away, really. Um, and knew the kind of the preparation would pay off. Uh, second part, yeah, I mean, it's always fun to go in there. Um, not as much, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, extracurriculars or yeah. whatever. There's, there's not, there's not many uh, of the, you know, people when I was there that were left. Uh, a lot of it's just, it's just the players, and I like competing against those guys. And uh, you know, it's, uh, I've come a long way with Sandy. Uh, we grew up together pretty much, the Cardinals and the Marlins. So I, I love, you know, competing against them, seeing them do well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a major league baseball game, so of course there's definitely going to be uh, some emotions in that game. Zach, y'all in a good spot right now. Y'all looking good, and I'm hearing a lot of teams saying things about your team, talking about how uncomfortable the offense is making them, or talking about the young pitching staff. I know you're coming into spring training in the season saying, all right, we're going to beat up on everybody. We believe in ourselves. But does it make a difference when you're coming out the gate playing the Dodgers, the Padres, the Brewers, the Cardinals? and finding yourselves being continuously successful against those guys? Yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think it was a win-win for us for the, you know, to have a tough schedule to the start. Um, you know, you can look at it one of two ways. It's like, all right, let's see where we stack up. Um, and, you know, we come out, we play well. It's like, all right, you, you, we gain some confidence. Um, but on the flip side, if we didn't play well, it's like, okay, we still have a little bit of work to do, but it's early in the season and, you know, we're only 17, 20 games in, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I think it was a win-win for us to have that early, early challenge and see how you know we stack up. And I think you're getting some guys in there that are starting to gain some you know legitimate confidence. And like you said, I mean, coming in the spring, guys, like yeah, you know we're we're gonna be we're gonna be legit, we're gonna be real. Uh, but I think now guys are starting to see um, that this thing can actually be, you know, for what it is. Uh, Zach, your team, as I mentioned, they're a lot of fun to watch. There's power, there's speed, 
There's home run celebrations. We, uh, me in particular, I'm obsessed with the Christian Walker uh, celebration, uh, the shooter. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, it just cracks me it's up great. It's, every it's time. Awesome. It's Every time, Zach, I watch it, I laugh and I chuckle. What do you guys make of it? I think it's amazing. It's the best. It's like a less is more type yes, of thing. Like that's I feel like, it, Zach. yeah, that's yeah. There's it. too if there's too much. You're like, you know, guys are dancing around the bases, yes. whatever. Like it's a it's a minimal show up thing. It's just a respect yeah. to the bullpen. Um, but it's it's got you know that Chris, Christian Walker kind of swag to it. It's yeah. it's a less is more thing. I love it. Yeah, and, it's and awesome. Zach, I think one thing he's kind of added to the, to his repertoire, if you will. <laughs> he was on second. Yeah. He was on it's second base, and he was doing it was just for a double. But it was so similar, you know, so subtle. Just on second base, just bang, bang. It's, it's so, yeah, it's 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 the it's one of the better ones. And I, I, I mean, maybe I'm biased, but yeah, I, I think it's I think it's awesome. It's funny every time he does it. It's, it's hilarious. So good. Zach, yesterday on the show, I don't know if you saw it, but Dero opened up a Salvatore Lavello gelato shop, and your flavor was a Zach gallon of chocolate ice cream. If you had to go into an ice cream shop, what do you what do you? Yeah, pick what's, in? Your order? what's your order? A gallon of chocolate. That sounds like a stomach ache if you ask me. <laughs> like that, but, uh, I, I, honestly, Zach, no, there was a time where I took down a pint of chocolate haagen every night for, I don't know, a good three years. I used to, Does your body I used to love that? ice cream as, as a kid. <laughs> no, no, um, I'm all right. I'm I'm on the I'm I'm an outlier here. I'm I'm on the coffee. I like the coffee flavor uh, coffee. ice cream. Okay. Yeah. I, it, so anytime I go in, if I can get coffee, especially with like a chocolate chip or like Thanks. some sort of you know crunch in there, yeah, I'm all set. Hey, yeah. hey, Zach. <laughs> Right there, right bang. There. Wear that one right there. <laughs> we had the Mocha Merrill Kelly going. That's right. Hey, oh, how intense? That. How That's intense? Brutal. I gotta try it. How intense is Merrill Kelly? He gives that. I'm not really trying to care look. But I went to take him out in the WBC, and he had some choice words for me when I took the ball <laughs> from him. How intense is he to be around? Yeah, me and you need to talk about that one. I was screaming at my TV. I was probably madder than he was, and I was watching the game at home. Oh. Hey. Um, Zach, yeah, Mer we're Merrill's trying to win the thing, like baby. A <laughs> <laughs> Merrill's a silent killer. Um, yeah, it's four out of five days. It's, you know, just – Chill, Merrill Kelly, hanging out, um, you know, good vibes type of guy. But you know, when it's when it's game day, he's uh, he's got that killer mentality out there. It's kind of a stay out of his way type of situation. Well, Zach, I know you got uh, the it's it's Zach Gallon bobblehead uh, day at the ballpark uh, this coming weekend, I believe. Uh, there you are holding it. Bobbleheads what? rarely look like. Yeah. You. What what did you make you of like it, it, Zach? Yeah, I, I think they did a really good job, honestly. Um, I, the only my only downside was the glasses. So my glasses are navy and Carolina blue. Back they're from when I was at UNC, but they threw a little teal on there. So I was like, uh, that's the only thing that messed up. But everything else, I think it looks awesome. Um, I, I'm ex I'm super excited. For me, that's growing up. That was kind of one of those things where, all right, you knew you you made it to the big leagues. You got your your bobblehead. So uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, we, we had a bobblehead done of, of, of the three of us and, and Lauren. Oh my God. Her, yeah, they her, she looked her. like a monster. I, I don't know. <laughs> what oh, you know, they were working off of. I, but it, it was bad. It was but bad. hey, Zach, thank you very much for coming on with Wait, us. Wait, where's morning. the pitch hand? Oh, that's right, Zach Gallant. Hey, he is a former pitch hand winner. And Zach, I don't want to put any pressure head. on you, but you could be in the running for yet another one <laughs> and could be the first two time winner of the pitch hand. So. Oh, I didn't know there hasn't been a two time winner. There you go, Zach. That's, uh, go, get it. Yeah. go get it. Right hey. there. Hey, go what, get what do get you have that for breakfast? with you. <laughs> yeah, what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. What I woke you, up, packed my bag, and came over. I think I'm going to try and do a. I'm a big scramble guy. So instead of an omelet, because I don't know, omelets get dry, I'm, I'm on the scramble train. I like that. Scramble <laughs> train. All right, there's yeah. a tape. That's so a tape. What's in, is it? What's in your scramble? Sausage? Bacon? I'll go, <laughs> I'll go bacon, uh, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, uh, sometimes spinach, usually not, and then some wow, cheese. Oh my. Stay away and from And then you got to go with the green. Exactly. Man. You have to go with the green Cholula, too. Zach is Cholula? Oh, that's fine. Zach wow. is going to wreck oh. a bathroom <laughs> a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, thanks for joining us this morning. Good luck to you, and, and uh, we'll have to have you back on real soon. All right, guys, thanks for having me. You got it.